You show me yours, I'll show you mine. No, I'm just kidding. There's, this isn't what that's about. I don't really need to see your graphic novel collection. I just figured you can't have a, a hashtag dork podcast and not have a graphic novel video collection. Now, you might notice this isn't as big as some other collections that you see on the YouTube, but I think we've all learned size doesn't matter. All right, let's look at uh, some of these piece by piece. This is the uh, entire collection that I have right now, but uh, a lot of winners in here. Let's face it, a lot of good ones to look at. Let's start off over here uh, with the Walking Dead uh, compendiums. So this is eight issues of Walking Dead. Um, this is the issue 9 through 16, and then you see 17. Started to buy them up a little bit differently. I didn't read them until uh, through 16, and they're on 23 right now. Um, with no end in sight, which to me is one of the complaints about The Walking Dead. I like it. It's fine. It's not the greatest thing ever. I just hope they have a good ending in mind. And also, you'll see where this little, uh, uh, bookmark is, is roughly where they're at on the TV show. So, yeah. They got, they got more to do. Um, now they've obviously gone back and forth, and... They mix and match what they want to use with the with characters and everything like that. But as far as essentially where the storyline is, it's it's not even halfway. This was also a, just a book. This isn't even a graphic novel. This is just a straight up book. The Walking Dead: uh, Rise of the Governor. Not very good. I wouldn't. I don't recommend it. Uh, Preacher. The uh, these. This is just one kind of collected book. But these are the uh, six books. This is the entire series of Preacher. Um, one of the best comics or graphic novels going, very enjoyable read. I thought that, uh, book two was a little bit slower, um, but then book three picked right back up and it was absolutely, uh, worth reading. Tremendous, tremendous stuff. Uh, then you get into the Batmans. I just have a ton of Batmans, um, sort of an obsession. Killing Joke, very good. You get a, you get a little backstory on the Joker, which... I didn't think it was really necessary, but I really enjoyed it anyway. Uh, one of the older classic Batmans, if you will. Uh, you also get the Red Hood, sort of the Red Hood storyline, the Red Hood gang in that one. Uh, how about this? The Man Who Laughs. Also pretty good. Um, Arkham Asylum. Just not easy to read. I mean, the, the font is just... Banana Land, it's, it was not well thought out, and I think it's a little overrated. Solid book, worth having. Grant Morrison does a lot of good Batmans, but I don't know. Uh, these are obviously ones that are must-haves. You got your uh, your Year One, your Dark Knight Returns. Uh, I know some people think maybe they've gone to the point where they're a little overrated, but I don't know. I think they're still very good, and uh, whether you're a Batman fan or not, those are two of the best graphic novels. Long Halloween's my my, uh, my favorite one, a uh, longer book, but one of my favorite things about Batman is all the different uh, villains that they have, and that one is just about all of them are in there. And then the same team of uh, Jeff Loeb, Tim Sale did uh, Dark Victory and uh, Haunted Night as well. Uh, Batman Mad Love, this is with... Uh, Harley Quinn for the first time in a comic book. She was uh, developed for the cartoon, so they made her into that. I, I wouldn't call that a must-own comic book by any means. This next one might be, though, a uh, little, little Batman Hush. Very enjoyable. Good read there. Uh, more Jeff Loeb. Here's Heart of Hush. There's also Hush Returns, which I do not have. Uh, Black Mirror. Very good. That's with uh, Dick Grayson playing Batman there. Nice job. Then you get into some of the new 52 stuff. Um, Court of Owls, City of Owls, very good. Joker, Death of the Family, which includes just a pile of stuff. You got stuff from Red Hood. You got stuff from Nightwing, Batman, Catwoman, etc., etc. Uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws, New 52. I'm a big Red Hood fan. This is fine. I wouldn't say it's the best going. Uh, this, though, is very good. Speaking of Red Hood... More of the classic Under the Red Hood, what happened to him uh, after he was killed in death in the family. Not shown. Um, Justice League, again, fine. 
not exactly a must own, but I wanted to see what it was about. New 52. Death of Superman, old school, makes little to no sense if you weren't following along Superman back in whenever this came out, early 90s. There's just so many characters that you would have no idea who they are. Uh, even if you're, even if you are a hashtag dork, you're like who the hell are some of these guys? They don't have a lot of Justice League guys. They have just random other dudes. Uh, Civil War, Mark Miller, uh, Captain America, number three is going to be based off of this. I'm interested to see how they do it because they don't have the rights to all the different characters. Obviously, it's Iron Man versus Captain America, but a lot of other people are involved. Look, little, little Spider Man might be in it as well. Uh, Wolverine, Old Man Logan, same author, Mark Miller. This one's a classic. You heard Davey on one of the episodes of Hashtag Dork talking about uh, this might become this might be the last movie that Hugh Jackman does, which would be really good. This is this is a pretty cool story. Uh, Watchmen. I think everybody who has comics owns Watchmen. Also very good. And this is just a little Sin City guy. How about this little guy? Put that in your pocket. That came with the DVD, I think. And that's a that's a piggy bank with Deadpool. So there you go. This is my, my collection. Now, maybe not the biggest collection in the world, but all worth owning, which I felt is important. Uh, also, I want to plug the podcast again. Hashtag dork. Give it, a, give it a look up on the old iTunes. Thanks a lot for, for watching.